video of this series. Uh, this is the plus, the bonus. We are gonna make this responsive as much as we can. There is one thing that I will probably eliminate and that is, I will show it here on the screen, is the our team section. There's some issue with it. I cannot understand what is going on. And I have moved this on other uh, servers that I have. None of them works. And the code is immense by now. I cannot figure out what is going on. But, but the good news is that this particular snippet works individually if you want to use it on another website that doesn't have that much GSA. So the snippet itself works separately from the website, but not on this particular website landing page that we are creating. So yeah, I'm gonna eliminate that completely. You can add something else. Maybe I will add something else. Maybe I will leave it the way it is, but disable GSAP. So yeah, I will probably have a lot of uh, time lapses. So at the end of the video, you will be able to download this th template to use however you want. Enjoy. All right, before we get started with optimizing our page, making it responsive, as I said, I want to show you something cool here in Elementor Hosting because this is something that you might need, especially if you are actually working on a client website. Um, you don't want, you know, Google to index the website that you are working on or people to visit your website that it's, you know, it's not ready yet and they just don't want to show the messy part of it. So what you can do, as you can see, we are here in the back end of um, the element of hosting and the website itself. Yeah. And if you go here to privacy mode, you see it's a, this big part here. And if you hover over this icon, it says block your site from search engines, as I said, and only allow in visitors with a code. Yeah. So if you turn it on, yeah, it's going to lock the site and this is the code. So you can get this code or give it to your client or give it to whoever you want and they will be able to use it to access the website. So how it looks, let me just quickly show you. Let me pull this out here. Yeah. So I'm in incognito mode. So if I, uh, this is our website. Yeah. This is the website. And as you can see, you cannot visit it because you know, it's not working because you know, we pass or protect it. So let me just go and grab my code. Yeah. I don't remember if I did. Yeah. So let me grab this back here and I will drop it in. Yeah. Let's see. This is the code. And if I hit continue now, you are able to see the website. Yeah. There you go. And that is absolutely fantastic. In my opinion, you can also, as you can see, you can also reset the code if you want, if you don't want the person that you gave the code to have access to the website anymore you have a new code okay so once you are done with editing your website everything is good you just disable this you unlock the website let's see how it looks right now and voila yeah <laughs> this is the website so now it, you don't need any more uh let me just copy and paste it so, so i can show you still in uh incognito yeah no problem whatsoever it's accessible yeah so now you know now let's get into the meat of this video okay as i said there will be probably parts where i'm just i'm not gonna be on screen but i'm gonna be doing things on screen and uh, if there's something important that i want to explain or i i will probably have something written on the screen so you can see what i'm doing or what i'm saying or explain how i did it and why i did it anyway you get it yeah so let's get into it
If you'd like to see what else you can build with Elemental, watch this playlist here or here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.